students. I have to say that 96% of my students are great people, all, and never do a problem or a mistake or create problems between themselves, nothing. Like, they all are marvelous people. There's very few students that I, I got this experience, and, and from those 4% uh, four per, four there that are problematic, only 1% remained like that. The other three were corrected in the, in the, in with, the time. with time and with love also, because you have to give friendship and uh, sincerity, straightforward friendship to the student too. Like, they should feel that you want to help because it's true. Right? That's your job, to help. That's why it's so difficult to be this, because you have to help. Even if the other has problems or bad positions, you have to help them. It's your duty to make them okay. They will not go alone and just by, by, uh, uh, by themselves. Yes, you have to explain what, what's, the, what's the thing and, and how can they achieve it. So now here what happens, that that's why we, we study targeted sections of the rasgueos. Because some people do... And the, the technique is okay, but the section of the strings, if I just go instead of over these strings, if I go over this one, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then automatically it becomes okay. The same thing, you see? Mm. Uh, but that there is a difference. And we have to, to see what they are doing. So just like these details, the posture uh, thing and, and, and the sections of the strings, is, uh, this study program in CFG is the most complete program ever created for flamenco contemporary guitar. That's what it means, flamenco contemporary CFG, flamenco contemporary flamenco guitar, means Paco de Lucia. That's what it means and everything that is related with that. We don't exclude nobody, it's excluded. But in Paco's technique is included everything, therefore that's our frame of reference. And therefore, contemporary flamenco guitar means Paco de Lucia's technique. And that's, that's what we do. So it's, it's, it's simple uh, concerning that, that point that we, we do have a reference. So the opposite is that people, for example, will try to, will try to learn the, 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 the strumming and then, and then maybe I learn the strum, but I don't have examples over which chords fit or doesn't fit. And then is, is good that? That's how, how, how many percent of the, of the people there in YouTube say it's learning that way. You tell me. That's what I am saying now. To learn one thing isolated. How many? No, no, no. I've seen. Like there is all the the, the, the people that is. I tell you one one thing. The ones that practice properly and learn properly the instrument will always be less. Because really speaking, as, as I said that in the grants, there is two things. Proper practice is one. And improper can be many, but it's actually one wrong thing in many shapes. So that wrong thing to, to distinguish between one and the other, that we have to, to train. That's why, I'm, why I did this now, this lesson to you. To train you in that, because you have to, to be able to tell when something is wrong or not. Otherwise, what kind of teacher are you? But if we don't even have that reference and how we pretend to teach. So people is learning alzapua, falsetta this, falsetta that, and don't know what is a falsetta. Then you ask, what is falsetta? Oh, I don't know. Then how you want to, to play falsettas? Well, but that's not necessary. Such and such says it's okay. They will say these things. So you have to do your duty is to educate them. Mm -hmm. and, and make, just like you were not brainwash now they will watch this 
lesson and then some of, of these people will say look how he has brainwashed them he's brainwashed complete these guys <laughs> you are you brainwashed no did i force you to 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 do that or you? I, I tried to learn through youtube but it was too confusing why because everyone explains it in a different way but uh, there's no one fixed correct way that i found but, uh, <laughs> yeah. So some people teach on acoustic steel string guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so voluntarily you can hear and, and now I, I have to check that, that you are trained. And then then you get better and then I assure you that the next time or whenever you get a student, there you teach someone. You will remember this is what we are doing now. And that's real knowledge. It's not brainwashing, it's real knowledge. Because when you have re when you have knowledge, then and only in that case you have a choice. Choice and freedom means that you have the choice to choose the right <clears throat> against the wrong, or the proper against the improper. But if, if you don't have knowledge, what's your choice? What's the choice you are making? There is no choice. You are just condemned to do the wrong thing. And think is good. And search for people that will tell you that's okay. That's not our business here in CFG, is to cultivate proper knowledge. And this proper knowledge, we, I have to check that you are, you are understanding. And that's not brainwashing. That's real knowledge. So you, you notice that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's good. Now, because now you can, when I notice a problem, if I play this one, two, three, four, But, but but how I don't know. I, I, I do not notice if I am going out. I will tell you the most difficult thing of this lesson to finalize it is this. Okay, correct me please. It's like this example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, again. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. keep the count going. But you know what? I try to do what you said, but I, I do not know when I am going wrong. Well, you have to slow down the tempo so that you can maintain control of... Okay, let me slow down and then you show me how to do it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same problem. You have to hit. You have to hit. But I don't know when I am going wrong. Then, uh, break it down. Yeah. But how I am? I am trying to break it down. No, break the twelve timing. One. Just take the time. Part of doing a okay, it's like this. No. Quite. So repeat only this part until okay. you get it. Okay. Okay. Let's try. One. Two. You count. 11, 12, 1, 3, 3. No. Now what, what do you have to do? The was in the wrong time. But how I know? Well, you need to repeat this part that you're doing. In the second, <laughs> you need to be counting rather than... That's that. the truth. Yeah. That's the right. That's the answer. First, you have to count. Because if I count, That's 1, right. 2, 3, I know where is 3 with that. Because you're counting. But then I will tell you, oh, but no, 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 let me first do it like this. One, okay, it's like this. No, you need to count. <laughs> <laughs> they will tell you all these things, all these kind of things. Then another thing is, one thing is I should be counting. But if I don't know, if I do not know that I am going wrong or out of compass, how you, what you will say if I tell you, you know what, I don't know. I really cannot grasp what you say. Uh, I don't know when I am going out of the proper tempo. I, 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 do, I, I'm not able to tell when I am doing this. Now, what do you answer to that? 
Well, the reason is because we're you're not able to count yet, so you have to break it down into. Okay, let me that... count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I am counting. You solve the thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we'll do it together. And That's the answer. Because and we come together. Because and... yes. Because if I may, you there is one thing. The biggest problem is when someone really doesn't know if he's good or not playing it, if, if he's playing proper or not. <coughs> if if you cannot tell when you are doing a mistake, really there is no way to make you play it proper. So the only way is that you play it with the ones that that know how to play. It. That's why we do these group lessons too. And welcome lessons because then we will check what the other is doing and we'll do it together with videos with private videos with the material with the thing and, and, and with with me also live there in the webcam right or here or with Malaga we are going there to Malaga so then we do this live quite because then then I will I will make you play one two three and I don't move from here one two three four Five, six. Now you try to, to to bring me out, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You didn't budge. I didn't went out. Even if you do any nonsense, I don't go out. I know where I am. I am counting and playing with the proper thing. So now one day for sure you will learn it. <laughs> because that's the solution to that problem. We are seeing here solutions, not presenting a problem, but how to solution the problem. That's what we are learning today. First, is there a problem or not? first and then why it is a problem and according to who is a problem mm. that we said frame reference Pagoelus technique okay mm. now he's saying that okay now why because of this of this of this okay let's do it now how to bring it into practice this everything should become that we play better that's the, that's the outcome the desired outcome right so once I play that you know what this exercise we will we will do it other day which is this thing, we can write another book just on that, on what we did now. That is that I play it proper, and you try to, to, to bring me out of compass. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I try to pull you out. <laughs> that's what will be the exercise. Because that's very difficult to stay there. It's just like, you know, like what? It's like sumo, the Japanese sport, which is what it's about. Is these two players of sumo uh, are in a circle, and the, the game is about the, uh, uh, one has to pull out of the circle the other guy. So rhythm and compass is like that. You, you have to stay there on the circle and don't be pulled out. And to do that, it requires a lot of strength and, and proper practice. Mm. And then you don't go out even if the others are doing anything. And now that, that's the negative way to use it. And the positive way to use it is that, that you can play soloing and these things a bit over or flying at your command on the tempo, pulling back the rhythm, all these things. It has two sides. Everything this has two sides, this thing. So, just like everything has advantage and a disadvantage. We could say the disadvantage of this technique is that it has many uh, particular things that it has to be properly uh, learned. 
But that's not a disadvantage, really. The advantage is... It just takes longer, that's maybe the disadvantage. But the advantage is that you will learn the thing real, the real thing. 